purple lights welcome to our new reading this reading is all about what was he thinking the last time you saw him okay so the last time you saw him this could be in person for everyone on my channel who has met their one yet or if this is your ex or whoever you're thinking about you know what was the last time when you saw him what was he thinking and for all of my purple lights who have a soul bond for you this is when was the last time you saw your person maybe on tv or on the internet in social media okay last time you saw him what was he thinking okay so let's see we're gonna see what this means and yeah let's do this guys Please subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. My name is Purple. We're doing daily healing videos, okay? See you at the past, guys. Thank you for spending time on my channel. Bye. Hello, Pav 1. So, Pav 1, if you are here, you chose this beautiful pink butterfly. So, what was your person thinking the last time? You saw them and I shuffle right in front of you so you can see the cards. <clears throat> so what was he thinking? The last time you saw him. What was he thinking? The last time part one saw their one. What was he thinking last time part one? Oh, damn one. Okay, I just want to take these two cards. And I also want to go into and take cards with tarot. What was he thinking? And I love this tarot deck with the purple colors. I just love it. The beautiful creatures tarot. So, give me two cards. What was he thinking last time you saw him? So, guys, I have all the cards. Um... Let me see if you can see everything pretty good. I hope so. So, let's see part one. What was he thinking? The past, a prison. Interesting. I also want to get these cards. We have, wow, the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> and the Paranormal. What is the, <laughs> what is Paranormal? That must be Major Arcana. I want to look what this paranormal card is, like what major arcana, because um, this is a new deck.
There is no such card. Oh, bonus card. Oh, that's interesting. I was like, what is this paranormal? That looks like card reading. Okay, so those are two bonus cards. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so this is a bonus card, and that's really, really, really interesting. Interesting. <laughs> So this is one of the two bonus cards in the deck, okay, and we can use it for, I mean, <clears throat> we can use it for everything, you know, so let's see what this is. Also, what is very, very interesting um, that we have the cards here, the past is a prison, the past a prison, um, refusal to let go and holding a crotch. Yeah, then we have the Ten of Cups and the Curiosity. So, Pylon, the moment you saw your person the last time, I also want to get these cards. We have Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others, and Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So, Pylon, the last time you saw them... There's some kind of situation that they have to let go and they're refusing to let go, okay? Mm, I'm feeling a person that has already moved on. Yeah, so this is in the past. There's something from the past that your person has not become over yet. Yeah, this could be your breakup. This could be something else, a breakup with a different person. But... There's something here. Also, I see the wedding cake. So for me, this is a long-term relationship that um, closed down. And this person or your person, let's say your person is about the moment. It's still bitter. You know, they're still bitter. I feel that some other person, I don't see it's you. I don't think it's you. I feel this is like someone else disappointed them. Someone else left them hanging. I don't think your person went away. I feel here someone else left them hanging. And they're still not over this. They're still thinking about this. They're still hoping. Um, yeah, they're still not over this. And when you saw them the last time, they were in a state generally in their life. They're very content. The Ten of Cups, you know, they're, they're okay. They still have this grudge inside of them. But in general, we have the Ten of Cups here, which tells me that, you know, they're very content with their life. Their, their life is very abundant. They're right now um, single. You know, they're in the moment of flirting and having chemistry. So when you saw them, they also might have thought, oh my gosh, you know, I'm very drawn to that person. But the past is still a prison to them. So this could be... Either something that happened between the two of you in the past that doesn't allow them to flirt with you, to have chemistry with you, even though they feel it, you know. And the paranormal is the curios curiosity about this connection, okay. I really feel the last time you saw them, there is some kind of pull towards you and they feel this flirt and chemistry, they felt that. And... You know, for me, this paranormal card is almost like a psychic feeling that they feel there is a strong magnetic attraction, a strong chemistry between the two of you. So, you know, they've, they were very drawn to you yeah, and they thought about this. But still, there is some past situation that does not let them move on to experience this flirt and chemistry. Okay, so we have the last time you saw them, 
they were thinking, oh my gosh, I'm very curious. What is this chemistry that I have, you know, that they had with you? Um, there's a lot of flirty and chemistry energy. They were feeling this or yeah, when you guys were near each other, they were feeling this and they were very curious about this. You know, they thought, what is this? I never experienced something like this. But then still, you know, this there is some past situation that they hold on. They have to work out this first before there's any kind of movement in your direction. That's what I'm feeling. If this is a soul connection where the last time you saw them was, let's say, in a V-Live or in an interview and your person has nothing to do with you, you know, they don't even know you, you were just watching them. I just say this because there are people like me on my channel who experience these things, even if they are crazy, but they are true, you know. So basically, they're still holding on to some situation. Um, you know, what was not satisfying for them. This could be a different relationship that they have to close off now, you know, that they have to lay to rest, but they're not ready. But there's this new energy coming in from your end. You know, this is the universe presenting them with this content energy, this flirty, this chemistry. And it's on a paranormal level, meaning a spiritual level. And they're very curious, you know, maybe they go to a psychic reader, maybe they heard about this, but there's this chemistry, this energy that's coming from a different place and they don't know where it's coming from. Because I see them single. I see them still maybe have it had, having had a breakup with someone else, you know, and they're thinking, they're still grudging over this. But there's this new energy the universe is bringing in. And they were very curious. What is this, you know? So please apply it as it fits, guys, okay? Because though there could be so many different scenarios because there are the many different scenarios on my channel. So let's see some charms. Maybe charms help you too. So we have the G. We have the cocktail. Can you see this doll? Oh, we have Paris here. I love this. I love this. Yeah. I mean, you see the charms, right? You see everything here. So we have the Paris, the Eiffel Tower, we have the arrow, yes, woo. We have the frog. What is this? The fire? Fire. And the flower. And we have the word we. We have the word hug. We hug safe. <laughs> That's cute. We hug safe. <laughs> we hug the safe. <laughs> and this person could, could be rich, you know, we hug the safe. But, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> but it could also mean a safe hug, you know, it's it's safe to love this person. Um here with this fire, um, you know, this tells me that the fire is sparked, but, um, you know, could refer to this past present prison situation, you know, that, um, yeah, the fire was put out and for a long time, you know, they, they, they're still holding on to this prison, you know, to this past they're having. There's some kind of prison here where they cannot really break out and they're ready for a new love. We see this here with Paris. That's usually very romantic love. The arrow, that's Cupid. You know, the frog is for me this symbol of, you know, changing from a frog into a prince. You know, a situation turning out better than you have expected. You know, and I think this they were feeling this beautiful flirty energy but there's some kind of past experience they had you know where they're not really trusting this new situation they're very curious you know and they want to explore it but they want to hug safe you know they want to have it safe with the flower there's growth and, and opening up you know a flower opens up so i don't think they're ready yet 
to open up. And that's what that was the last time you saw them. They were thinking, oh my gosh, there's a lot of chemistry in the air. I'm very curious, but I'm content with my singlehood and um, I still have to get over this past situation. So um, yeah, I feel they, they want to wait, you know, they want to wait. I feel here a hesitation, okay? Pile one, a hesitation. So let's get some advice for you. Let's get some advice for you. Give me some advice for pile one, the current. Give me some advice for pile one. Okay, this card. Okay, higher power. I love this song by Coldplay. <laughs> Listen to the song. So there's there's a higher power attached. There's divine timing. Okay. Um, you can only um, go with the flow. There's nothing you can do. Um, spirit is working with that person. You know, when I see higher power, um, there's nothing you can do. It's basically all divine timing. Yeah. So that's all what I'm having for my pile one. I hope you like this reading. Please subscribe, guys, and please like the video. Bye. Hi, purple butterfly. Hello. Welcome to your reading. So ooh, what? let's see. What was the last time you saw them? What were they thinking? How to please the purple butterfly? So I also want to get some of these cards, two of these cards, pile purple, please. Let's put this purpley butterfly here. So, and I also want to get two of my beautiful new tarot deck, the tarot of the beautiful creatures with the beautiful purple edges. What was Pile 2 thinking the last time they saw the current? What was Pile 2 thinking the last time they saw the one who's watching? So, that's it. Let's see, guys. Let's see, guys. Oof. The decoration. <laughs> So, pile two, the purple, resurrection, comeback. Okay. They were thinking about a comeback. <laughs> so, wow, number 44, very strong card, very strong card. So, yeah, I mean, when I look at this card here in resurrection, I mean, you know, we all know that last time they saw you, uh, you saw them, they were thinking that they want this connection. They want a comeback of this connection, you know. Let's see. We have the One of Cups fondness. Yes, they want to start, you know, this love. Beautiful. They were thinking about <clears throat> this love, you know. I love this purple dragon. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute oh that's a real big heart look at this that's a heart and then we have oh my gosh the two oh my gosh the two of cups relationship yes look at this but isn't it interesting that's a past mask isn't it interesting wow they want to have a relationship with you they want to go to Venice, I'm feeling here. Oh, that's so cute. I mean, with having the One of Cups and the Two of Cups in a reading and a resurrection, I mean, wow. <laughs> wow. So last time you saw them, they wanted this connection to revive. They wanted to this connection, to have back this connection. So this could be an X, okay? If this is an X, then it's really clear you had a connection, a relationship with that person and they want, you know, they want to have this back. That's what they were thinking. And um, for my, for all the purple lights who are in a soul connection, the last time you saw them, this could be in a live, this could be in, in a concert or yeah, it could be just on social media. You were looking at their picture, you know. <clears throat> And I'm reading for this connection, yeah? So, so I'm feeling that 
<clears throat> I mean, it talks about resurrection, yeah? So, <clears throat> it's very interesting. I mean, we have the One of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Comeback. Interesting. So, let's see. We have Make the Effort. Yes. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, this love is guided. Oh, my gosh. Reconciliation. I don't believe this. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, pretty clear. Like, last time you saw them... If you have a soul connection, they're thinking the same, yeah? They're thinking they want to see you, they want to, um, like, you know, this could be, if I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the words, because it's very hard to explain to people, because it's very obvious that, um, you know, for some people watching this reading, it's very obvious that you had to have a relationship, because we have resurrection and reconciliation, but guys... If you have a soul connection, this person knows you from a past life. And with this reconciliation here, this is 5D connection. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And then we have make the effort. So they want to take the steps they're guided to make this love happen. So the last time you watched them or you saw them, they were thinking about, oh my gosh, I want to I wanna see them again. I want to make the effort i want to reconcile i want to see <clears throat> yeah i want to see them i want to see you i want to have this connection i want to make this connection work in 3d that's all the things that they were thinking yeah it's interesting i mean you have to reply it as, you have to apply it as it fits because for most people, this is a resurrection of a past relationship. Of course, you know, for everyone who chose pile two. But for most of us who are on my channel, we are in a soul connection. So if I see these cards, I know that our divine masculines, they feel that, um, you know, if you are in some kind of group, they feel that, you know, and they also feel this energy. So when you saw them, when you watched them, they were thinking of reconciling, you know, and if they did alive, then, you know, if we're talking about one of our boys and they were saying, okay, I want to reconcile with army because if we're one part of army, then this is what army also means to them, you know, because they know their, their one is part of army. Okay. I just want to say this. If they feel that's the case, they feel that towards the group as well. Okay. Except if you're leaving army, then probably not anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get some charms. That's what I wanted. That's why I was playing with the charms. So, so guys, let's look at the charms. So we have this beautiful charm here with the big heart. This reminds me of this. We also have safe and hug. This reminds me of Pipe 1. So the energies are similar, you know, but I told you this. The energies are always a little bit similar between the divine masculines, you know, if this is a soul connection. And I think it is. We have the leaf. We have the half, half shaped moon. This could stand for Asia. We have the clothes hanger fitting to the t shirt. We have the flower. A leaf again no matter where this is a D oh we have the music note and if oh my gosh the flash wow and the divine timing yeah but pretty sure you know that <clears throat> yeah it feels as if spirit is showing them and they feel some kind of comeback you know, they want to re-wife this whole connection. It's interesting, right? It's very interesting. That's what they thought last time you saw them. So what should you do now? Let's get some one more advice card and then we finish off this reading. But I mean, it's very telling. I mean, this is very telling what they want. And we have not for you. Interesting. So they're doubting. This is, okay, 
That's interesting, right? What's the advice not for you? <laughs> oh. You see how there is a game here? There is a game of chess. So this is a strategy. There is no strategy here. That's why not for you. Strategy is not for you. This is all divine timing. That has something to do with the reconciliation also in um, in 5D, guys. So I'm feeling this, that first there has to be the 5D union before the 3D union is happening because I'm feeling here a soul connection. Even if you have met this person, yes, this is a soul connection. So there is no strategy. There's no move you can plan, basically, because a chess is a game. It's a strategy. It's something you can plan. This is not planable. That's not for you. You know, it's it's based on luck. It's based on luck and divine timing. We have it here in the cards. You know, it's it's the natural flow. You cannot, by making a move, you cannot change the outcome of this. Okay, so that's what it means. I was like, not for you when all these cards are so gorgeous, you know? No, it's divine timing. Okay, guys, no strategy possible. That's all what I'm having. Hello, pie green butterfly. So let's see. What was he thinking? Ooh. All my cards are falling down. So, what was he thinking last time he saw you? Pulp green butterfly, please. What was he thinking last time he saw you? I put the green butterfly here. It's beautiful to our decoration. So, I also want to get two cards of this beautiful purple tarot deck. I really love this one. It's called Beautiful Creatures, in case you don't know. I unboxed it in one of the last readings. What was he thinking last time he saw the current? Part three. <clears throat> and I also want to get two of these cards. Okay. What was he thinking last time? They saw you. It was the last time they saw you. So, okay, guys. So, pile green butterfly. Let's look into this. What was he thinking last time he saw you? So, we have renunciation, offering, letting go, sacrifice. Okay. Okay. So, last time you saw him. He was thinking about making a sacrifice, okay? Um, that probably has to be has to do something with your union. In order to be with you, he has to suffer, sacrifice something. He has to let go of something. <clears throat> Let's see. Very interesting, right? And this could be, guys, um, that last time you saw them, we have number 16, the decadence, abruption. That's a tower energy. And we have this... I hear so <clears throat> and I think this is one of our soul connections I'm pretty sure about this let me see the other card yeah twin flame knight of swords idolism so the idolism is you guys being together but um, you know this is he wishes to rush this he wishes to have this um, you know, this is the Gemini card also. That's why there is, is the Nine of Swords is depicted as two, um, you know, as a twin. But I'm seeing it here as, you know, in order to be with you, he has to sacrifice something. And this would bring abruption to his life, you know, because the decadence, he's living very, you know, in a big, bright way, <laughs> basically, you know. And he has to sacrifice the decadence basically the good stuff <clears throat> and he's not ready to face this give your relationship a chance work on your partnership that's what spirit tells them 
And look at this, we have this girl here turning to the side and this is like the angel and I see this um, as passive energy. This is the energy of your masculine, you know, the one we're talking about. Their spirit is urging them to go this way. Spirit is urging them to rush in, um, to make a move, <clears throat> to follow this idealism. But they're lo looking away, you know. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. Yes, yes. They are codependent on the situation. And I think here it's pretty clear for the queen butterfly. Um, yeah, there is some codependency to this sacrifice. Okay, whatever they have to sacrifice in order to be with you, that's what they were thinking. Last time you saw them, they were not ready to make that sacrifice. Or if this is a soul connection, you've never met this person, but you've seen them, you know, they were thinking about this. Because, um, you know, if you have a strong soul connection, if you are a twin flame and you have never met this person, they get in the same signs as you are get. It's not that you only get signs, guys, you know. This is just a, you know, some people always think, yeah, the divine feminine only gets signs or, you know, but it's not like this. The divine masculine gets the same signs. So let's see, maybe not exactly the same, but they get in the two. You are mirror souls here, see this. So let's get some charms. Yeah, see, they want to stay in the safe haven. That's what I thought. Um, you know, coming towards you, uniting with you, they would have to give up. I am, see? I am. They have to give up this moment where they are in right now. I am. And they're not, not re yet ready. Spirit is basically telling you the last time you saw them, uh, this is, you know, what they were thinking at this time. Maybe not in that moment, but... <laughs> You know, around the time when you saw them last time, they were not ready or they're not ready. They want to live their dream. See, live your dream. It's very telling. What is this? A trumpet. That's interesting, right? <laughs> A trumpet. Yeah. They want to, you know, they're not ready to give, um, give up this life. They know they have to sacrifice something. And whatever this is, this has something to do with... <clears throat> um, being comfortable, being safe. And it says peace, brave, thankful, free, true, strong, happy, compassionate. At peace. Yeah. I'm feeling here being with you would also make them feel at peace. But there is this codependency here to their old situation, to the sacrifice, whatever this is. Um, for them, it's not possible the last time you saw them, for them it was not possible to have a union with you. Yeah, just apply it to, to your situation. Did you talk to them? Did you break up with them? Um, did they break up with you? That's because they were codependent on a situation they could not let go. Or did you see them on TV? You know, for all the ones having a famous twin flame like I have. This is what Spirit told them. Spirit was urging them, but they, they were not ready yet. Okay, so just know this, this could apply to different situations and, <clears throat> you know, so what is the advice for the current, for the one watching, what's the advice here, okay, to the C, number seven, I also see the C is um, in between, you know, the journey, just move on in the journey, even if being alone, you see that, um, you know, that's a spiritual journey for me, the seven and to the sea and the boat here. That's pretty clear, you know. You guys have to sail in your boats for some time alone in your boats, you know. that That's what I'm seeing. And I mean, it, it it's normal when you have such a special connection as many on my channel have, you know. That's why I opened up this channel to help you guys. And it's not easy. It's not easy and that's what we're facing, you know. A lot of times... We are ships in the night passing each other by a lot of times. And the Divine Masculine feels that too. It's not just on on our end. It al it's also on the end of the other person. You know, I just want to say this. And for all of those who have met, and this was the last time you saw them, they were not ready. They are codependent on 
their family, maybe their siblings, um, their decadent lifestyle. They're, they're codependent on something. They're not ready to let this go because it feels as if they have reached their dream. And they're not ready to, they face this as a dream. Yeah, they see this as a dream. Um, they're not yet far in a soul journey, I must say. <clears throat> because they're seeing this 3D stuff still as their dream and their wish fulfillment and that's what they want to cherish. So they're not ready for this soul connection if this is a soul connection, okay? I just want to say this by three. You guys have to move along the journey for some time, okay? I just want to say that I love you. Take care. Bye. So, hi guys. Let's last butterfly is butterfly blue and butterfly blue has a big brother over here <laughs> so let's see what were they thinking last time they saw saw you let's see pile blue butterfly what were they thinking last time they saw you okay this card came out so i'm gonna take it I also want to get two cards from this beautiful gorgeous deck that I got new, the beautiful creatures tarot deck. I really love it. Fits to our beautiful decoration. And I also want to get two cards from the Romance Angel cards. You guys love them a lot. What were they thinking last time? Okay. <clears throat> Let's shuffle one more because I don't want to take three cards. Just one more card, universe. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. I hope the recording goes because um, last time the recording went away. Was away. <laughs> I don't know why I said this. So. It says, okay, what were they thinking last time you saw them? Internal struggle, the monster within, personal challenges, wanting to improve. So, what were they thinking? They want to improve, they want to better themselves, they want to, they wish they could do something, but there is something inside of them that holds them back to express themselves. That's what I'm feeling here. We have, oh my gosh, the Six of Swords, Detachment. Yeah, look at this. It's like showing their truth. They're not showing their truth. They're, they're rather moving on instead of showing their truth. So last time you saw them, they were holding back to tell you the truth. They moved on from the situation. They wanted not. They wanted to avoid King of Wands leadership. Yeah, they they have some obligation. I feel this is someone who is um, a leader of a pack, you know, who is um, maybe has a very strong position at work where they have to constantly improve. They have to better themselves. Maybe they are an artist in the public eye, you know, and they have to constantly be better and do better. And um, they cannot tell their truth, you know, detachment. It's like they rather move on. Um, and that's why they have this sad face here and kind of like this. No, I'm not telling you face, you know, look at this. It's like, um, there's the beast within here, the monster within the lone wolf that wants to stay a lone wolf instead of, um, having this union. That's what I'm feeling. So last time you saw them. They were thinking about opening up, but then again, they say, no, I have a mission. It almost feels with the King of Wands, that's an artist also, you know, some kind of mission, some kind of goal with their artistry, um, where they really want to put all their stuff in and they'd rather be the lonely wolf and complete whatever this goal is, than tell you the truth. So let's see what the truth is. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this strongly screams twin flame. Yeah, it's always difference. As there's always this feeling of unrequited love for the divine feminine. It's very, um, it's very common. So blue butterfly um, screams, especially screams 
you know, the situation that a lot of you on my channel have. And, you know, guys, if you are here on my channel and, um, you know, you, you don't experience these strong twin flame bonds, you, you are not one of these soul bonds that are with a famous divine masculine, please know that a lot of readings of mine are like this because spirit wants to bring through, um, you know, a lot of help and a lot of advice. But you can also apply these readings for your own situation because it doesn't have to be, you know, a, a famous person. It could be just that this person is someone who is seen by other people and who is um, wanting to improve in their workplace. And, you know, they'd rather be the lone wolf and pretend to you like it's unrequited love um, than to tell you the truth and to not pursue what they want to pursue, okay? Basically, there's some kind of dream with the violin here. I'm feeling there's some kind of internal struggle of them wanting to pursue one thing and also wanting this with you. But at the same time, they're like pretending to not love you, you know, so that you feel you're just the Lulu. Give me charms. So we have the key. Again, we have this live your dream charm. This comes out like for every part here, almost every pile. So this is strong. This is again, I'm feeling a strong vibe of I, I want to be single and I want to live my dream. You know, I just be, I'd rather be single than, um, you know, the lonely whale also, you know, this, this, this tells me here with this, with the wolf. The, this is for me a whale the lonely whale I'd rather stay lonely what is this I don't know what this is it looks like a bunny but I'm not sure so I don't know what that is could be a murrow also yeah could be also a murrow you know that they murrow this to you this unrequited love this is a pretending factory they pretend you know um this is the death card for me. So they pretend like everything is over. They pretend they are not interested. And that's what happened when you last met them. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. Oh. A lot of questions with a Q here. We also have the arrow with the heart. Very beautiful. So the and the clothing rack. So yeah i'm seeing with this clothing rag and with this um this drink here that they enjoy their single life it's not like they don't want this but for me it's like their goal whatever they're pursuing is their main goal and um there's someone that has gone from them yeah some some family member some very important family member is in heaven and that was also one of the things where they only focused on their goal you know maybe that what where they had problems with because they were saying well it doesn't matter you know if i <clears throat> with the religious factors there are many cultural and religious differences between the two of you and that's what they know and they say okay um, if I am a twin flame, I will see them in heaven, you know, because that's when the union is happening. It could also be that they're saying, well, I'm the king of wands, you know, I pursue my goals, I pursue my mission in life and I see my baby in heaven. That's fine. You know, that they are fine with um, being this lone wolf and not having this love in their life. But actually, that's a mask they put on themselves, you know. So don't worry, you know. So that's what they thought. Last time they saw you, they were not able they, to show you the truth. Um, we have the arrow here. We have the mirroring. Yeah, we have the key. So I feel here a mask. I feel a mask. They mask their true feelings in order to pretend they are not interested. Okay. What is the advice for the current of Pile Blue? By the book. Yeah. 
I mean, that goes by the book. You know, there's a um, a long desert here you have to face. You know, it's, it's not easy, this journey. But, you know, I'm seeing here that spirit will show you the way. And these three elephants, you know, they they grow up like the steps. You know, this is the steps from the small elephant to the big elephant. So it's all about improving and learning the lessons, you know. That's what I'm seeing. Step by step, they have to grow up in this journey. They have to take the steps they are guided to take. And the same for you, yeah. This is... Um, a soul journey where you are guided to take steps, you know, and it's good to do it by the book, to not rebel against the universe, to not fight, fight this, yeah, just go by the book, just follow your signs, do whatever spirit is telling you, you know. Also, I'm feeling there is some kind of book that you read. I don't know. Maybe that's interesting or um, important, I mean, not interesting. <laughs> important, I mean, yeah. Maybe you read some kind of book where the what is written in the book is important and you know right now what I'm talking about, okay? So this might be significant for you on the journey. Okay, guys, that's all what I'm having. Bye.